Hey guys, ET and Sun here from Sunbros, and we finally have found out what was behind the broken glass. It is a new hero, a mage, and her name is Aurora, Queen of the North. So taking a look at this first picture here, we see Aurora is covered in ice. She has like an ice suit on, and she's sitting with an ice giant or an ice golem. Um, all decked out in armor and a huge massive sword. So this, I'm really excited about having a mage who deals uh, prominently in ice. I think that there's a lot of really cool possibilities for what kind of abilities she can do. Um, if you guys have ever played League of Legends and seen the hero Lissandra, you know that there's some pretty cool things that Lissandra does in that game that I think would be really neat in Mobile Legends. So um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. I wonder, because they're showing the ice golem, the ice giant, I wonder if she'll be able to summon an ice giant in the game. That would be a really cool, really cool addition to the game. Like she, one of her abilities is summoning a, like a little mini tank. Even her ult, even her ult is summoning this giant ice giant who just like goes crazy on people and tanks for her. That would be really cool. But um, <clears throat> I don't have a whole lot of guesses for abilities. I'm assuming with the frost that she'll have some kind of root or stun of some sort. Maybe she encapsul encapsulates people in ice, or she freezes, you know, something and and she. Uh, you know, she roots them in place or something like that. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities with that. And I'm really excited to see what they could possibly do. Um, but yeah, it's, this is looking really cool. It's a really cool skin. And just her, her normal skin is awesome. And then we get to see her secondary skin, which is going to be this uh, Thorn of Nature, I think it's called. Um, no, it's called Nature's Thorn which is gonna be really cool. And <clears throat> as we kind of predicted when we were looking through the glass, it, she's covered in leaves. She has a dress that looks like it's made out of a flower. Um, you know, it, it's a really cool looking skin, but it's totally different than the ice skin. So I wonder if her first skin is going to be epic on release, like a 799, you know, diamond skin. Normally the skins are like just a different color and some very small variations. This is like an entirely different skin altogether with a different theme and everything. Normally they don't change themes until they're doing an epic skin that has like all new abilities. But like, I think it would be ridiculous to expect that Aurora in her nature's thorn skin would be shooting out ice and doing ice abilities. More likely than not, I think that she will probably be doing all nature type abilities with the skin. So instead of a root or a stun with a with ice encapsulating the hero or like ice going around their legs, it'll be, you know, vines or some kind of earth thing. So pretty interesting that the new skin I would I can't even imagine is not gonna be an expensive seven ninety nine epic skin considering how much different and how much different kind of detail the actual skin will more than likely look in game. But <clears throat> needless to say, I'm excited to have a new mage in the game. I'm excited to see how, how awesome that first skin is gonna be. And the whole ice theme is really exciting. The lightning had been done with Eudora. Not nearly as exciting about what you can do with ice. Ice has way more possibilities than lightning does. So I'm totally pumped up. I'm really crossing my fingers and hoping for the ice, uh, you know, the ice mage to be able to summon an ice giant with some one of her abilities that would be so incredibly cool for her to be able to do that. But I'm excited for Aurora, the queen of the north, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and as always, leave a comment below and tell me what you guys think about Aurora, the queen of the north, and her new skin, and what you guys think her abilities will be. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time.